added some depth to their forward lineup. They got Teresa Venetia traded from Montreal. Cheyenne Darkangelo comes in from Boston. A couple of the PWHL trades. A lot of depth that they add to the bottom six of this roster. And of course, for Montreal as well. Not a lot of lineup changes, but what you see is Marie Philippe Poulin going back onto the top line with Chris O'Neill, Laura Stacy, Mel Dau, who slotted in just the other night. She's going to add some depth to your third line. Brienne Jenner takes it away. Nine points in the last four games for Brienne Jenner. Now Daryl Watts doing the work. She cuts through, gets in close to Bien with the stop. Watts, pressure from Ambrose. Taking it away, Teresa Venetia. And in front, that one just high, right on the doorstep. Buckles. Debian is all kinds of dialed in here since the international break. And this is your third line, Snodgrass, Venetia, and Gilmore. Play, but a player with a little bit of motivation after being released from Ottawa, playing with Montreal, still has yet to get a goal this season despite being so close. Two posts against Toronto. Yeah, got three assists on the season so far, and she'd love to keep contributing. Ottawa still with the best power play in the league. Daryl Watts coming in. She sets it right on the pad of Debian there. Razova keeps it in the zone. Of course, the crowd loving what they're seeing. Another chance in front. Razova with the feet. What a chance. Snodgrass was right on it. Another one saved again by Debian. Montreal, but Ottawa so with a can. couple of great opportunities on the power play. Daryl Watts front, right on the doorstep. Poulin sends it back. Another chance in front. It's saved! My goodness! It was off the post and then a quick chance on the rebound. Bodies in front. That one, Ottawa coming away. Likely feeling some relief. Once again, Daryl Watts. She throws it on. Dave Bien. Little trade back and forth. Laura Stacy determined. She's got room. She gets in front. It's saved by Mashmeyer. But right now, the story of this game, I think, is the goaltenders and Emirates Mashmeyer point blank. That was kind of her post that made that save, and then Laura Stacy in all alone looking to go low blocker. Mashmeyer makes that save as well. Back and forth, first period, plenty of chances either side. Cutting in close, shoot, and stopped. What a save. Dubois out to Keppel. Solid pressure. Now Stacy, she scores. Laura Stacy. Tara Loeb has got the puck below the goal line and she's looking for someone to give it to. She takes a little look. Nope, not that way, not the other. She knows the space is in front. She just doesn't connect. I don't think her teammates necessarily read that, hey, if I stay put in front of the net, that's where the pass is. That comes right back to Laura Stacy. She has been so good lately. You give her that opportunity, she's going to finish and she does. She has to take it around. It's loose. It's in front. Stacy again. Poulin. What a block. Emirates Mashmeyer holding on. Ottawa again just trying to create some space. And Brianne Jenner finds the puck. Her pass. Still in play. Here we go, Ottawa. What a save by Debian. Now Tabin with patience in front. In the glove of Emirates Mashmeyer. Emily Clark, they scored the tying goal just this way last game. She's got her line mates driving the net. She knows if she puts it in the crease, she's going to have that opportunity. Watch this save. Dave Bien comes away with that. Ambrose as well. Look what she's doing. Just to close that out, it's a tremendous team effort. But Anne Renee Dave Bien, my goodness. Keppel tries to clear it here. Another chance for Ottawa. Jenner! Razova! Both teams opportunistic. Now Jinsi Rose cuts in front. She's got some space. She gets the shot off, but Debian with an easy read on that one. Montreal gets it back. O'Neill now to the line. Ambrose. One timer. Stacy Mashmeyer with the stop. Just taking away those lanes. And the time just winding down here on Ottawa's 
power play. There's a shot. It's saved by Debian. Talk about a goaltender who's just dialed in in front. Another chance. That one wide. A big collision. Coming off of the faceoff. It's Ottawa that gets in first. Throws that puck in that front. Just nothing quite connecting out front right now. But they're getting the puck into those dangerous areas. Down deep, but right there. Claiming space was Boulier. Now far side. Bell. Trying to shake off the pressure of Grant Mentis. Savannah Harmon with a shot to Becca Gilmore right in front. Dark Angelo on the doorstep. Another chance. They score. A total team effort for Ottawa. But it is Savannah Harmon. Well, you got to think what they're looking at then possibly is goaltender interference. There was not a lot right there. They could be looking at Gilmore. Looks like she's outside of the crease, though, when you watch number 10 as she comes in and she trips over. And we've seen this before with Ottawa having a goal called back for goaltender interference. So we're going to take a look at this. After a video review, the call is overturned. We have no goal. Players high. The Snodgrass now with a feed out to Venetia. Venetia cutting in front. Just the net was so open. Gabby Hughes. She's gonna cut through. There's a shot. Davian with the save. All about possession now. Dau Murphy. Dau gets it back again. Trying to tee up a shot down the slot. They score. Montreal extends their lead they deserved a better fate given how they've played in this period but it's montreal who is opportunistic haven't had a lot of chances but they made good on this one and it's just a bit of a scramble out front as well it's maureen murphy she just slides back so she can get into a place where she's open it's a little, a little step back gets her stick on it right along the ice lots of traffic hard for mashmeyer to see and in it goes looking for the feed now watts in front Dave stops around they go they still have it Clark back to it Harmon back again Clark now and the puck loose in front Gabby Hughes trying to dig for it and of course those tensions just boiling you take a look at some of these chances and they're just pucks into the crease into traffic but quite often you're gonna get a tip you're gonna get a bounce they're not getting that of course Davian with another beautiful save certainly doesn't help when you're trying to put a puck past one of the best goaltenders in the world on Kristen O'Neill an empty net right there and while Harmon keeps it away that will do it Montreal back on top number one in the standings but a first ever PWHL shout out for Anne Renee Davien.